they grow in muslin and that thing will grow straight up. But where that that place there, once in a while the salt water going. And that's why the the plant is strong. But I have some way up in a valley here that that uh, buras is no good, I cannot miss because they break. That's the difference. He brings his bundles home and pounds the fresh reeds, crushing the strong fiber. As a child, Kenichi Tasaka would watch his father make bulrush slippers, but it wasn't until much later when he made his first pair. After I retire, I was working for the county for 39 years. I used to go farming a little while, but I never had no intent to learn from my father I never learned, so I had a hard time. That I was kind of a little sorry that I didn't start a little early. I start from 83, or oh, not long. My life is not too long, and I'm now 90 years old, so I think uh, kind of a little too late, but uh, my hobby, so now I'm going to get this. I have to hold it tight up this thing, otherwise we'll slip off. Now I go this way, and I twist around, and then I come this way again. Be sure this is tightened up. Then I come back this way again, and then I... But when you weave it, try and get this part always even. Otherwise, this is going to be big and small according to this width. So I always try. Before, I used to, now where is my measurement? I used to measure all the time. I got to measure, but now I don't have, because I don't have to because I'm pretty used to, so. Before, it used to take time. Today, his slippers are sold in a local art gallery. Once commonplace in Japan, these slippers are now hard to find as machine-made products replace handcrafted shoes. Three years ago, my wife and I went to Japan. And uh, that Japan, they don't have this kind of slipper now. And I, we went to the hotel in Osaka and we didn't know that that room slipper not supposed to go down the lobby. So we had these two packets, you no, know, two slippers, one for my wife and myself. Then we walk around in that lobby and uh, around the store. There are people in, ladies and people down there, they follow us. He said, where we got from? I told him, we came from Hawaii and we, I, we bring from Hawaii. They didn't believe it, you know. They didn't believe it. But uh, in Japan now, they don't make this kind of thing because uh, especially the old generation all died. And now all the new generation, they don't fool around. 